What are you doing? Howdy folks from good old Houston, Texas. <laughs> we are changing out the bearings on the front wheel hubs of a 1980 CJ7, a Dana 30 axle. We've looked all over YouTube for these kind of videos, trying to uh, see if we could find any instant, uh, you know, instructional videos, but no luck yet. So we're going to make our own. It may be right, it may be wrong. We won't know until we try. First, we've taken out the old races. We've got new races inside from the new bearing set. We've cleaned the inside and now it's time to grease the inside. We're going to try a synthetic blend. See how that goes. Looks pretty greasy. And from what I hear, you can never have enough grease. It keeps your bearings rolling for a while. Okay, we have our hub all greased up with some synth synthetic grease. The races are in and greased. And now we're going to get to the stage of putting in the inner bearing and the outer bearing and put the assembly on to the uh, axle there. Once you get the uh, inner hub greased, you also want to grease your brand new bearing. It comes like this. But it needs to be like that. So we'll get back to that. We'll see you again after we grease bearings. Go. All right, guys, we're back to uh, replacing bearings on the on the hubs. What we did was grease the bearings very generously, and now we're gonna go start putting this assembly together. You have your inner and your outer. They have two different model numbers. Pay attention to what those are. To whatever you're installing them on. All right, let's go over there to the Jeep. All right, guys, here we are at part two. I was just informed we have a part one and a part two, and probably a part three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Anyway, um, we are going to put the new Greasley hub back on the spindle with the with the new bearings. Once again, this is a 1980 CJ7 with a Dana 30 front axle. So we've done some cleaning. I didn't get everything off, but I got it as clean as I could. And um, with the tools that I had to work with, you want to replace your seal, especially if you go mudding or in the water. So we're going to put a seal back here. It's a Somewhat help you keep your, your bearings dry, drier, like so. And uh, notice that's done before you add grease to the uh, spindle. Like, like we did with the bearings and the uh, hub, we're going to apply some grease to the spindle because this is what you're riding on and you want to be all lubed up all right here's uh part three getting ready to put the assembly back together hoping all goes well i'm not a certified mechanic i'm a shade tree mechanic First time too. All right, uh, I'm just cleaning off the old pieces that went together before we put the new grease on those as well. And like your mama always said, put things back where you got them from. So that's what we're gonna attempt to do. 
right guys, part four of bearing assembly. We are installing new bearings on a 1980 CJ7. We got everything gre greased, lubed, braces in. We have the outer bearing in. The inner bearings there, we'll go with that next. But we're gonna go ahead and try to get this on as far as we can for now. Now, the fun part is trying to make it go back as far as the original one was on there with. That's going to take some work. There you go. All right, we got that slid into place, and you want to make sure it's back to where it was originally, which is pretty close to your where your brake hubs were. Sorry, your brake shoes and stuff. And... All right guys, still pretty much uh, part four. We just uh, put the, uh, the drum on there with the inner bearing on and now we're gonna install the outer bearing. Your races, the bevels are pointed out towards you. So your bevel on your bearings need to go toward the inside. Just kind of push it in there as far as you can with your fingers. And then I'm just going to follow up with some screwdrivers just to kind of get the seat in there as far as I can. Which looks like it. Okay, at your local auto parts store, they're usually so kind as to rent you some tools that you don't normally have or don't normally want to purchase because we're not doing this for a living. Remember, we're shade tree mechanics. One of those tools is a Dana 30 um, spindle nut remover or putter on her. That is separate from the uh, cheater bar. You have to rent both of those to make this work the correct way. So what we want to do is get that threaded in there by hand. When I took them off, they weren't torqued down a whole heck of a lot. So I'm just going to go then you still want to be able to spin your spin freely so right now you can tell we're pretty tight so I'm gonna back off a little bit couple turns there alrighty that's spinning pretty good And now we're going to go back with, um, you have two, two different nuts you, and washers. You have a flat washer where the, the nipple is pointing straight down. That's going to go first, followed by its locking nut. And then you have another one where it's pointed in. You can see the difference. And that's going to go on last. And there's a groove in those that this uh, goes into. So you just slide it on like so. And always keep your grease handy. We're gonna grease up the threads of the of the nut. Do a little grease around the outside if you like. We'll get this started with our fingers. Okay guys, we have uh, both of the locking nuts in place. Your hub is still freely spinning. And now we want to take that uh, special socket for the Dana 30 axle and 
finished tightening him down. He is the lucky nut against the other, the first one that was installed. So this one you can go tighter on because you want those to lock together. We're gonna give just another spin. Still want to make sure you're good there. Okay. And now what I want to do is give it some uh, some force because you want that to lock on good. This is what holds your wheel onto the vehicle when your bearings do fail, like ours did earlier this week. Alright guys, here's uh, part 5 of putting some new bearings in a 1980 CJ7 with a Dana 30 front axle. We've put the locking nuts on, now we're ready to finish the uh, assembly that goes to your locker locker assembly to lock it into four wheel drive when you're going four wheeling. Speaking of four wheeling, the reason why we're using a synthetic blend, I'm trying it out. Um, is because we do a, a little bit of wheeling here in the water and and mud and I wanted to see if this could handle a little bit better than the previous grease that didn't seem like it handled so well so we're gonna continue filling your your hub with plenty of grease let's get it caked in there all nice and your bearings will appreciate it later. Alright guys, this isn't going to be a continuing part uh, because it shouldn't be a part of what you're doing to replace bearings, but this is why we had to replace our bearings because one of them locked up on the wheel and uh, it proceeded to weld itself to the spindle. If you'll zoom in, this, uh, this here is the inside of the bearing not a race the inside of the bearing which is here that's what your bearings roll around on and this is the piece that got superheated and just welded itself to the spindle so now we're taking a dremel tool and cutting that off Alright guys, with a little help of a Dremel tool, a welded on seat of the bearings and a chisel, your troublesome piece is now no more. That's how you do that. Okay, part five. <laughs> and pretty much final part. We um, got everything installed. This is once again putting new bearings into a uh, 1980 CJ7 with a Dana 30 axle. We assembled everything and all that's left now is uh, the final snap ring to hold this assembly together and put on the brake shoe. So we're gonna continue pushing this in, which you might have to tap in. Tap evenly to make it seat. And then we're going to drive this in. Alright, you can stop it for a minute. Alright, step six or seven? Five. Five. <laughs> step five. Or we're going to, um, we put the snap ring on, we put the hub back on, and now it's time for the final piece, which is your four wheel drive locker. If you have one like this, you might have a different one, but that is pretty much the final process, uh, besides putting on the brake shoe and the tire. That goes in like that. 
like that. So you just want to kind of hand thread these in. And then the brake shoe will be next.